All right, everybody, back again. Going to continue on with we have to capture some pteranodons. from expedition and we're going to we put them in captured here. captured flyers ready to deliver. Have them brought to the aviary hatchery by our transport team. We'll then release them into the domes. And by release, you mean contain? Yes, in a controlled environment and under our supervision and care. Excellent. We should be on schedule to deliver assets to the other site. Wait. Nope, there we go. Five found. Five captured. Let's transport them. Asset transportation underway. Asset being transported. Asset delivery confirmed. There was one. Let's take a good look at him. Get a uh, ranger station and a paleo medical facility up and running. Get you some fish. Confirming asset delivery. Looks like we might be getting things under control. I would say famous last words. But Malcolm. Times that I could have used this very phrase over the years. I'm going to go with uh, quote predictable unquote last words instead. Doctor Malcolm, why are you contacting us? Same thing as always, the dinosaurs. And my obsessive need to witness the car crash when it happens. It's good to hear from you again, Dr. Malcolm. <laughs> ah, Dr. Dua, you're now increasing the uh, so-called intelligence part of the CIA, if I'm to uh, understand correctly. We do what we can. Yes, yes, we do what we can. And sometimes more than we should. Interesting times, and I mean times as the dinosaurs are living in ours. Should they be here? No. Are they? Yes. Ergo, they should. And the hidden hand of chaos is revealed. It's what else remains hidden that's concerning me at the moment, Doctor. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes, yes. And that's why I brought somebody with me to help shed some light in this regard, Mr. Isaac Clement. Yeah, a specialist of, uh, of the spectacular. 
Huh? You should be hearing from him soon. These dinosaurs require feeders if they're to stay healthy. Stay on top of it. They have feeders, Claire. Calm down. So Isaac is back too. We have Lambert, Dua, and Isaac now. Hey, there he is. I'm Isaac Clement. Dr. Malcolm should have mentioned me earlier. We have some specific requirements, including a ranger team to gather information and monitor the animals within the aviary. A viewing gallery is also on our list. So, now it's on yours. <laughs> All right, nearly done. There's perching on top. Let's research some stuff. Here they are, they're up on top. Cool. Hey Claire, I've been thinking. When you think it makes me nervous. No, no, seriously. <laughs> Why the flyers? Uh, okay, I'm not following you. Dr. Malcolm starts contacting Dr. Dua from who knows where when these flying reptiles become an issue. Why? Because they introduce a unique danger and peace concerned? Yeah, that's, that's probably it. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Owen. For now, we should make sure the satisfaction levels for the flyers is high. That's verifiable data we can use. Forget the conspiracy angle. Hello? We're chasing prehistoric animals, Claire. Reality ain't what it used to be. <laughs> it's not wrong. Speed this up. I probably don't have to do that research, but I mean, it's probably fine. Yeah, you were right, Dr. Malcolm. Uh, it's, it's sort of my thing. The facility is functioning as anticipated. We have enough assets in the pipeline that we should be able to move forward soon. Right now we're putting out brush fires, but this, this is an inferno that could engulf the world. Your concern is noted. For now, I suggest we focus on this location. It's about high welfare and visibility for the animals, and safety for the DFW staff, of course. Learning to coexist with the dinosaurs is a process. We're getting there. <sighs> and if we don't, where's that leave us? We will have created an apocalypse born of our arrogance, humanity, versus the dinosaurs, and honestly, I'm not sure who deserves to win. Look at Charles here.
keep it fast forwarded here. Okay, so we need to find more pterosaurs, I'm guessing. If we want to find success, we must look to the sky. That means more flyers and more species of flyers in the aviaries. Flap, not flop, huh? huh? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> so funny. Well, he tries to be funny, at least. So we got all those pterosaurs, at least they're okay. So we need more species, it looks like. Got it. So what upgrades did we get? We don't have an upgrade for that. Science Center didn't get one. Nothing for you. Install an upgrade on that. That's an arrival point. That's not going to have any upgrades, I don't think. Advanced scanners. There we go. Okay, we need to... Keep going here. And let's see. Um, scientists. Start you two on that task. And can I get... Let's see about these Tropicnathus. Let's get you two going on that. Start them on another research task. Now we just wait around. Let's see what happens. Cause we're about to. Oh, oop, boop, boop, boop. Okay, we got the Trapognathus. Cool, continue. All right. Transit has commenced. Transportation underway. Get them in there. Asset transported. Um, I need to open it. Whoops. I need to go back. Let's 
start those three on a task. Where's our Tropic Nathus? We get the new one? Yeah, there he is. Okay, so you need forest. All right, now what's it say for Pteranodon? It doesn't have any like species or dislike species. I did select a Pteranodon, didn't I? Okay. Now we have these guys. Tropic Nathus. Another Pterosaur. They're so loud. There's just a single one. <laughs> Go look at one that's not so loud. There he is. That's pretty cool. Alright. Let me just... Actually, we can train you guys. that. Train you. Oh, that's it. Okay. Cool. There we go. Um, let's rest, 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 rest. Get all you guys some rest. While that thing completes, that'll be good. Done here in just a second. Oh, we finished. All right, there we go. Even contrived, Done. planned, and managed beauty has its charms, but what appeals to the senses is the asymmetry of nature. Its rough edges, its mistakes, a tree that is both out of place and exactly where it needs to be. Much like the dinosaurs. Excuse me, Dr. Malcolm. There are reports of a large herd of subject animals roaming freely in Yosemite. To my point, chaos, don't you just love it? <laughs> Large herd of wild dinosaurs is congregated in a valley outside Yosemite National Park. DFW want to set up a facility there, here to catalog and monitor the dinosaurs here, as well as safely contain some dangerous species nearby. Ooh. Well, we'll get this started, and then I'll end the episode here, and we'll... Start up the next one right after. Yosemite, over 1,000 square miles in size. It is home to one of the oldest plant species on Earth, the giant sequoias, which have been growing in this part of California for over 60 million years. That could be our connection. What's drawing the dinosaurs here? The sequoias are familiar, part of their genetic memory. And this land could be a perfect fit for the dinosaurs. Okay, the horse is already out of the barn. That's a saying, by the way. There's no horse and no barn. <laughs> what Owen means is that things are already in motion. We have dinosaurs that we'll need to capture and facilities that need to be built. Uh, but not actual barns 
Barnes know Expedition Center, a paleomedical facility, and a response facility? Yes. <laughs> the host should give us a solid foundation. Now I want to see a dinosaur in a barn. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, I'm going to cut the episode off here. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.